Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Titus here at Mid Valley Mercenaries and today we're gonna do another review of the QU water valve system. Before we get started today, I just want to let you guys know that if you're interested in any of this Kuyu waterfowl system, I do have a playlist on the channel. If you don't want to try to search it out and find everything and all the articles of clothing, you can go to the playlist on our channel, Kuyu waterfowl gear, and you can see everything that's there and pick and choose what you want to watch. In this video, I'm going to be talking about and reviewing my thoughts of a year use in the field of the Kuyu HD Flex Storm Shell Jacket. First off, this is in Velo. Um, I'm 5'10", 215 pounds. I wear an extra large. And this material on this jacket is the exact same material as the waders, the HD Flex waders. So very, very tough, very, very durable. I'm telling you, like, I don't feel like you can hardly punch a hole through this if you tried. Very thick and strong. One of the thicker waterfowl rain jackets that I've probably ever seen. So. I guess we'll start from top to bottom. It's got the hood on it, obviously, typical for any rain jacket. It's got the cinch in the back so you can tighten up and when you're turning your head looking for waterfowl, you'll be able to do it easier and not worry about um, it all bunching up or going to one side. Where you can't see as good when you're looking for waterfowl. It does lay down very nice in the back. The way they designed their hoods on this one and like the puffy one, the other flyway insulated jacket, um, they did really designed these to sit, I guess you would say, kind of low profile like you don't notice there I've had some hoods where it's like hitting you in the back of the lower part of the head and it's just kind of annoying and frustrating but this one doesn't do that at all the hood is not removable if anybody asks that and I do want to let you guys know if you have any questions that I don't cover in this video please feel free to ask them down in the comments below if this video helps you out and you enjoy the review please give the video a thumbs up all right moving on <clears throat> we'll go to the cuffs so We've got the waterproof cuffs that you can put your hands through and then you crank it down kind of like a um, neoprene, you know, right here on the cuffs and you can crank them down. That way literally no water comes in and gets down your sleeve. There's nothing more frustrating than that. So they've got that designed awesome. I love the design. You can just crank it up as much as you want. Picking up decoys, you will not get water up your sleeves. I love that. Got super, super strong YKK zippers up here in the front. I mean, this bad boy is built to last. They got two chest zippers, cell phone, you know, anything you want to put in there, license. They got two of those on the front, two clips on either side. If you maybe want to hang like a, a shell belt or something like that, hang that off from there on each side. They also have the upper pockets, again, clutch for waders. And it's got a little magnet that helps it kind of close itself back up, you know, if it's dumping and the rain is being down hard it kind of helps keep from water getting inside of there i really like their idea and their concept here of using these little magnets to keep that closed but it's barely no resistance to get your hand in there and then you've got fleece lined on the inside of both sides the right and the left side of the pockets and not to mention they got the lower pockets as well and they're they're heavy duty i'm telling you guys like they set this up where like you could put a whole box of shells on either side of this jacket. Like I really like how they designed that. Um, you could literally, I mean, you could stick a whole box in this side, a whole box in that side. You could put stuff for the dog or whatever. I mean, I, I don't even know. The sky's the limit with these 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 lower pockets. At the bottom of the jacket, um, you've got the cinch. You can cinch this up too as well. I'll tell you what. Me and Thomas wore ours in a absolute torrential downpour on an out-of-state hunt i mean we must have sat in the rain for like two hours three hours pouring i mean pouring and um, bone dry so does what it's advertised to do and like i said it's super tough and durable like i feel like you could walk through a briar patch and not even worry about puncturing anything on this oh one more thing it's got the pit zips and this is straight through those are waterproof zips so you don't have to worry about it but if you you want to get some air and maybe you're under something you still want to have a rain jacket on but you kind of want to get some air and get to, to breathe you know because i mean this really holds that in like the warmth in too at the same time it breathes don't ask me how but it does it but yeah you got the the pit zips and then on the inside you got the the pocket on the inside on your front left side so you got that there, it's got a zip on it. You can again stick your cell phone. That's where, when it's raining, obviously that's where I put my like phone or something. I put it on the inside 
just to make sure it's really, really protected. But um, it's just a shell, so it's not insulated. But I'm telling you what, this thing is so warm. I can't believe how warm it is. It does come in a few options of colors. You can check it out on QU.com. I like Velo. As I've said in a lot of these videos, I'm really into the Velo color. Love this jacket. One of the heaviest duty rain jackets I've ever seen. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Again, ask any questions if you have any. I'll do my best to answer every one of them. And we'll see you guys on the next one.